Now we will discuss about the spleen part 1. Spleen is the largest lymphoid organ of the body. And the term for the spleen in Greek it is spleen. S P L E N. In Latin it is lean. L I E N. So these are synonyms of the spleen. Here in this diagram, this abdominal cavity is divided into nine regions left hypocondium, right hypocondium, epigastrium, left lumbar, right lumbar, umbilical, right iliac fossa, left iliac, and here is hypogastrium. Position of the spleen, the spleen lies here. This is position of the spleen. Most part of the spleen lies in left hypochondria and some part lies in the epigastrium. If you see the long axis of the spleen, the long axis of the spleen lies along the 10th rib. This is 10th vertebra, 10th, 9th thoracic, 10th thoracic, 11th and 12th thoracic. So this is 10th rib. So it lies along the 10th rib. This is spleen. And long axis of this makes an angle about 45 degree with the horizontal. Its length is 5 inches. Its thickness is 1 inch. Its width is 3 inches. And its weight is 7 ounce. And it is related with 9th to 11th rib. So in this diagram, this is 11th rib. So it is related with the 11th rib, 9th rib. These all numbers are, are known as Harris dictum. Of odd numbers. For the spleen, these numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. 1 inch thickness, 3 inch width, that broad, 5 inch length, 7 ounce in weight, 7 ounce is equal to 150 gram approximately. And 9 to 11 rib, it is related with 9th, 9th, 10th, and 11th rib. And its long axis lies along the tenth rib. So this is Harris dictum. Now external features. If you see, it has two ends. One end is this. And that is this. This end is posterior end and this is anterior end. So anterior end is broad like a border. So anterior end is broad and posterior end is pointed. Posterior end is it lies about 3.5 to 4 centimeter left from median plane. This is median plane from here. It is about 3.5 to 4 centimeter from median plane. And this is anterior end which is broad. It lies into the mid axillary line. This is mid axillary line. It has two ends, anterior end and posterior end. And it has three surfaces. 
it has two ends and it has three borders three borders three borders are this border this border this border is superior border this is superior border this border has a notch this is splenic notch so this notch lies at the superior border and this indicates that it develops from several lobules here in the superior border these lobules are incompletely fused so here a notch is formed so it has three border this is superior border which has a notch a splenic notch this is inferior border and here is intermediate border this is intermediate border and surfaces it has two surfaces if you see here is section of the spleen this surface is convex surface this is diaphragmatic surface this is convex this surface is diaphragmatic surface and the surface this surface from here to here superior border to inferior border and visceral side so this is visceral surface so this and the surface is visceral surface so it has two surfaces diaphragmatic surface and visceral surface visceral surface related with the numerous viscera and diaphragm surface related with the diaphragm so these are the external features of the spleen now in part 2 we will discuss about the relations of the spleen thank you